But one of the striking things for me is the fact that 55 persons under the age of 18 have tested positive. I've spoken to this worrying trend before. And I think for me and for the team at the Ministry of Health and Wellness, this has been one of the game-changing events or occurrences um, in this current surge caused by Delta. So that between the 1st of September and the 10th of October, we would have had a total of 872 positive cases of persons 18 years and under. I also would report to you that currently in our isolation facilities, as at 7 o'clock this morning, we have about 113 persons under 18 in isolation. And this is a game changer, as I said, because this is not something that we were seeing previous, previous to this, uh, this surge. And what I would like to continue to urge all parents and guardians and wards, family, that we have a duty and a responsibility to try to protect our children, especially at this time. And I would like to all urge all persons to ensure that those who are old enough to take the vaccine, that they do so because it is in their interest, is in the interest of the educational system in terms of face-to-face -face classes resuming in this country, and it is also in the national interest. Another game changer really has been the fact that we are seeing more people being sick as a result of this Delta surge, and this is evident in the isolation facilities when we assess the persons who have tested positive and also at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital Accident and Emergency Department and the extension that they have established there to be able to deal with persons with respiratory problems we are seeing the same thing and so we're seeing more and more sick persons and this is also reflected in the composition of persons within the isolation facilities so that where the average uh, occupancy level at the isolation facilities across the board would be about 56% at this point in time, we are seeing about 74% in primary and secondary isolation at Harrison Point. And so in anticipation of what this could lead to going down the road, we've taken the decision and the work is in progress to refit the tertiary installation facility at Harrison Point uh, so that that facility can become more of a secondary facility with the installation of oxygen and so on. And this is in keeping with what we are seeing on the ground and we are fighting an enemy that is evolving, that is changing, that is doing things differently. And so we have to readjust our strategies and our tactics to be able to remain in this fight.